All right, here's another uh, road glitch. We'll see if you can see it. Let me turn off the music. Okay, there. That's quite a weird glitch. Oh, granted, it's a weird intersection, but look, I can make it go away. So I can't see it. Isn't that cool? Except for this one spot. This one spot. There's no weird water level showing through. Nor was this raised or altered terrain, if I remember. I don't think I did anything except uh, flatten this. So, wasn't raised, wasn't lured. Oh, what a picture perfect spot for some shrubbery. Anyway, that. That. And again, what's weird is that when I, uh, in a specific view, I guess in a specific distance, <laughs> It looks fine. If I can get it to reproduce that, I don't think so. But I, I don't see where that's. It doesn't really give me any information. It's not like I can get any any more detailed information about the height or terrain features. I mean, I can turn on Burke, Burke, grid lines, and stop that blasted shit from automatically drawing in roads, or attempting to draw in roads at whatever spot I was pointed at. It might be a quick fix, but it's it's certainly problematic. It makes for a, a lot of extra mouse movement. A lot of extra mouse movement. The physica physicality of this game is just... Woof. Woof. If you have... If you, if you don't have Carpal Tunnel by the time you start playing... When you start playing this game, you will have it by the end. I guarantee you. If you like it, at least. holding mouse buttons for views, holding the center button for views, and trying to control where the, mouth is, where the mouse is heading. It's a little bit hectic, and this is on the slowest settings that I can have it at, so not gamer settings. And what the fuck kind of logic was that? You just left a traffic circle. Okay. Well, I'm not going to get into traffic logic here, but there you go. That was the other glitch that I wanted to point out. And again, I can't get it to go away now, but it is definitely weird graphics glitch. It has something to do with this. I, I, I'm just wild guessing the interaction between these two lanes. See that white line? It's kinked up. I bet you... Oh, well, let's try it. I'll probably break everything. You see how it's... changing? Yeah, I can get it to go away. But I'm going to get all the traffic's going to react at the same time, because it's real time, so... Uh, yeah, there's some sort of dip edge right there so I mean that's better it's not perfect certainly that's that is better I think huh. See, I don't like the fact that it moves the whole entire intersection oh see that's pretty cool too see that Nice. I don't know. I'm assuming that it, that it thinks the terrain is below where I've set it. I, I don't know. 
it's all crumpled up. Now, um, yeah, move it's kind of made it a little bit worse. So, but I'm moving the intersection. I'm not moving the that one. Oh God, it's worse. Uh, I don't know. I could sit around and mess around with this for 22 hours, but that is one glitch, and now I've made it worse. Okay, yeah, I could, uh, yeah, see there's our, there's our terrain level issue. So it is a terrain issue, but, uh, or, um, uh, wow, that sort of stuff in a AAA title should be less prominent of an issue, and it does not just happen once in a while. This is often not going to say all the time. Well, no, it, it will always eventually happen whenever variances in, in uh, whatever terrain variances occur, especially at intersections, as you can see. And the more, the more connections you get, the more pronounced it is. But that looked great until I added this one spot, this one incoming so I'm gonna see if I can fix that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna record the fiddle futzing around for another 40 uh, 37 minutes so I'm not gonna do it okay but that's that's it that's it